Surgeons have to train a lot to get good at what they do, and nobody wants to be the person those surgeons are training on. So at the Ergonomics and Remote Environment Laboratory at Tufts University, Carolyn Keo is inventing ways to train doctors in minimally invasive laparoscopic surgery without having to use real people. Laparoscopic surgery is when doctors use these tools to go into your body instead of cutting you open. Tracy Stetter and I... Hi, I'm Tracy Stetter with Discovery Channel. That's me, are here at Ko's <laughs> lab to look at some of her training methods. These are four of our favorites. One, she plunks fake tumors into simulated body tissue so the docs will know what to feel for with their long laparoscopic tools. See if you can find a tumor in there. Oh yeah, right here. Two, she uses headless plastic abdomens to simulate some of what a doctor might experience in the operating room. Normally, if we turn on the motor, this would be moving around. Like sort of jiggling? No, not jiggling, but moving across the screen um, in diagonal or, okay. or randomly. It's supposed to simulate when, you know, that your patient is breathing. Three, she uses video games to improve surgeons' hand-eye coordination as well as depth perception, because when those doctors are doing that laparoscopic surgery, all they get to see of what's inside you is what's on that computer monitor. So it trains your hand-eye coordination as well as depth perception. Four, she uses a huge interactive screen that gives an immersive of 3D view. Systems KO develops on this so-called scientific visualization wall will help doctors practice operations that feel almost lifelike. Voila. The coolest thing about this one is that when you push into that simulated tissue, the controller pushes back a little bit the same way real human tissue would. It's squishy. It's squishy, and you can also see it you know, deforming, right? Yeah. That feeling of resistance is called haptic feedback, and making that perfectly accurate is the goal of this kind of research. If a surgeon learns what an organ feels like while they're training, there are gonna be less surprises when it's the real deal. This is me trying to make a smiley face, and I'm not that good at it because it looks like a skull. But what has surgeons smiling are the effects of this research on their patients. So are there people out there right now who, thanks to the work that you're doing in your lab, had better surgery because of it? Oh yeah, yeah. Really? In fact, there's been a lot of studies done to show that haptic feedback improves performance in laparoscopic surgery.